In the studio today, we have the HP EliteBook X, advanced with the AMD Ryzen AI7 Pro 360 processor, a compact 40-inch business laptop that doesn't sacrifice performance, features, or looks, with a stunning 2.8K OLED touch display, 32 gigabytes of high-speed RAM, and a host of features to improve your workday. This really is a work laptop that you're going to want to take home with you. Hi, this is David at Mash IT. And today we're gonna to be looking at one of the new EliteBook X laptops. These EliteBooks hold a very special place in my heart as I used to use one in a previous job a good few years ago. But wow, these corporate laptops have come a long way since then. So let's quickly unbox it and take a look what we've got inside. So here we go, the EliteBook. So straight away you're greeted with the laptop itself. So let's put it to the side. Okay. We have our HP setup instructions and some what's this, safety data. Got our UK power plug and we have 100 watt, so that's quite a lot of power, USB C charger. Despite being 100 watt, that does feel nice and light and compact. So let's take a quick look at this laptop. Now this is a 14 inch powerful laptop using that Ryzen chip. Wow, that looks lovely. Nice, solid, hefty aluminium chassis. That feels great. Now this model I'm reviewing has the AMD Ryzen AI7 Pro 360. It's got 32 gigabytes of high speed DDR RAM soldered on board a 512 gigabyte SSD, and that beautiful 14 inch 2880 by 1800 OLED 120 hertz display. Now, as you can see, this is a compact 14 inch laptop, perfect for on the go for the corporate business needs. Now the build quality does feel absolutely amazing. There's no creak or flex here. This is really nicely built. So let's take a look at what ports we've got. So on the left side, you can see we've got a headset jack, two USB 4 for the about four ports and an HDMI port. And on the right side, we've got another USB 4 port, a USB A, which I really love. I love having that legacy ports. The amount of times I've gone to, onto a customer's site and I needed to plug some older peripheral in, always handy to have. And a Kensington lock if you are in a corporate environment, you want to lock that laptop down. And as you can see, there's absolutely nothing on the back, just some venting underneath and nothing on the front. But for a 14 inch laptop, that's some really good connectivity. Now, opening the laptop, Reveals a nice palm rest that matches the rest of the build with this lovely silver aluminium. And the laptop will automatically turn on. So I'm just gonna quickly set this up and come back. Right, we're back, sorry about that. Got through all the Windows updates. And as you can see, we're into Windows. Now, the actual trackpad itself is a large glass trackpad. It feels premium, clicks are great, and the tracking gestures are fantastic. Really nice little touchpad. It's not haptic but it's a really good springboard touchpad. Moving up to the keyboard, I'm really impressed here. The keys are a lovely gray color with a white backlighting, and it's got a lot of contrast, which looks great, and the typing experience is fantastic. There's a nice amount of travel and a nice pressure, so I've really enjoyed typing on this so far. Either side of that keyboard, you can see grills here for the speakers, and they sound like this. Speaker test of the EliteBook X G1A, starting at 50% volume. Now 80%. And finally 100%. Wow, that's really quite impressive. They are incredibly loud for a small 14 inch laptop. The not the best bass, but loads of treble. Uh, actually really quite impressive. You know, I'd be quite happy to listen to some music on this. Now moving up to the actual screen, and wow. I wish OLED displays were available the last time I had a corporate notebook. This 14 inch 2880 by 1800, 120 hertz OLED is absolutely stunning. Now it is also touch capable. I'm not a big fan of that on a laptop screen. I hate people touching my screen, but I know a lot of people do like it. And it's a great feature to have when it's such a portable laptop. Now it does get pretty bright, but it is very glossy. 
So you are gonna to have to deal with a bit of glare if you're using this in a very bright or outdoor environment. Now above the screen, we have the five megapixel webcam and it looks like this. This is a test of the webcam and the microphones on the EliteBook X G1A laptop. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think it looks and sounds like. And also with HB buying Poly, and if you're old like me, you're gonna remember the Poly voice conferencing hubs in your boardrooms. They are able to utilize the NPU from the AMD processor to help AI take the load off the CPU with all the video and audio effects in the Poly Camera Pro. We've also got built-in Windows Hello IR facial recognition for quick logins. Plus there's also an on-look detector using a sensor in that webcam and AI to blur your screen if required, if it picks up somebody behind you. There's also an auto lock and awake function when you walk away from your PC. You can turn that off if it does annoy you. Okay, so how does this laptop perform? And this laptop features one of the best mobile chips on the market, the Ryzen AI7 Pro 360. This is an eight core 16 thread featuring three Zen 5 cores and five Zen C cores. And the reason this chip is so impressive is despite the power it provides, it does so efficiently. Looking at Geekbench 6, we can see great single core and multi-core scores. And when moving to this longer 10 minute torture test in Cinebench R24, we can see that this laptop can easily able to maintain its 40 watt power budget without ever overheating or getting too noisy. Now we also get an MPU as standard with this new Ryzen AI chip, which is capable of over 50 tops. And as we move further into this AI age, we're gonna see many more apps taking advantage of that local AI. Now HP have already implemented it into many of the software that they've included in this laptop, such as Wolf Security. This laptop comes as standard with HP Wolf Security, which leverages hardware-based isolation to protect against quantum hacking, which can use algorithms to rapidly break many of the cryptographic security that we use to secure sensitive information and online comms. Now the risk is gonna grow and increase as the technology continues to evolve. It's the price we pay for this modern AI innovation. But innovation does work both ways and HP have developed quantum resistant tech on hardware such as printers and these PCs. Such as on this laptop with the inclusion of an embedded security chip, an isolated microprocessor which protects this laptop's BIOS and CPU with quantum resistant cryptography. The benefit to using Wolf Security is it's both software and hardware. It protects the laptop and your data by using hardware isolation on potentially harmful documents and websites. Now this might sound like buzzwords, security tech is always gonna be an arms race. New methods of attack appear daily. So in a world where quantum computers can break through encryption in minutes instead of decades, keeping ahead of the game is essential to protecting your private information. Now this laptop also comes with HP AI Companion pre-installed which is separate from Copilot and acts as a personal assistant on your PC. You can use this local AI to discover key information in documents and articles, to analyze your own files and compare, summarize, or even keep your laptop's OS, BIOS, drivers and firmware up to date. All of this works in the background and because it's using your AMD NPU, it doesn't consume CPU resources, otherwise needed for other tasks. And being an AMD Ryzen chip, we get amazing onboard graphics in the 880M. This powerful integrated chip will cut through your Photoshop, 3D modeling, and audio work with ease, and can even manage some light video editing. And after a long day's work, it's even a pretty capable gaming chip. Now let's fire up a quick game and check the temps and the fan noise. So yeah, considering this is integrated on a 14 inch like work laptop, this is really quite impressive. So temperatures again, still sitting in the 60s, holding it's 40 watts, no problem. And we're now 80 frames per second, where it's obviously a little bit of a quieter indoor area. So what I wanna do is just, I'm gonna mute the actual game and we're gonna just check the fan noise. So this entire system is about 43 decibels. Right, so just quickly check the actual temperatures of the machine. So going right across the keyboard here, we've got a hot spot of 42 in the middle. That's not hot, it's just quite warm. 44 actually. Drops off to the mid 30s. And we check the palm rest. Very cool in the 30s. So absolutely no problem resting your hands on here. At the top of the actual laptop itself. Again, mid 40s, not overly hot. So very impressive. And as I mentioned earlier, this is an efficient AMD Ryzen processor and the battery life really shows that. Running our usual battery test, streaming YouTube over Wi-Fi at 200 nits of brightness, in the balanced profile and 120 hertz, we managed nine hours and 21 minutes. 
So more than most users work days. This is a really impressive score, especially as we're using an OLED panel. And I could have even switched it to 60 Hertz and used the best efficiency mode to get over that 10 hours mode. But once you've used the 120 Hertz panel, you're not gonna to wanna to switch it down to 60 Hertz. Performance on battery is also very solid and feels almost as quick as being on mains. This really is a laptop you can take anywhere with you. Also using USB-C as well as the actual compact charger, you can also plug this into a PD monitor, such as my 27 inch 4K UltraSharp, which provides 100 watts of power delivery, USB-A ports, Ethernet ports for a one cable docking solution. Coming into my office and just plugging in one USB-C cable and having the full power to this laptop and all my peripherals and monitor is such a convenient way to work. So then onto the conclusion, and I have to say, this is a really fantastic laptop. Gone are the days when you had a hulking workstation with hot discrete graphics to get your daily work done. This compact little machine is easy to carry everywhere with you, has all day battery life, yet packs plenty of power with an efficient CPU and also includes that powerful MPU and GPU to offload load those tasks that we would have normally put on that CPU. And that screen, once you go OLED, it's really hard to go back. And seeing that on a work machine, you're really gonna to wanna to take this home with you at the end of the day to watch a movie or fire up a game. Well, that's my thoughts on the HP Elitebook X G1A, advanced with the AMD Ryzen 7 processor. As always, I'd love to know what you guys think. Pop a comment down below and I will get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching.